Hello kids, Patrick Livingston of EasyAnimalsToDraw.com and today we're going to be drawing this animal. The Westie or West Highland White Terrier to give it its full name. Start by making four marks to define the size and proportions of the circle for the head. Tracing it in lightly in the beginning and then going over it once once I'm confident that it is a reasonable reasonably circle shaped. Doesn't have to be perfect anything. Doesn't have to be perfect at all. Far more important is that the circle is the right size and placed correctly in relation to the other circles. As you can see in this case the circle for the chest and shoulders overlaps the circle for the head. It's, it's a little dog, short, short legs, only 10 to 12 inches at the shoulder, and a compact body. A very cute little doggy. Originally they were bred as ratters at a time when rats were a serious problem for farmers, eating a lot of the grain that the farmers produced. And now subdividing the circle, the head circle, with two more lines, which will help as a guide when we come to position the eyes and nose muzzle. Two triangles as guides for the ears and now we join up the, the hip and shoulder circle adding a, a line as a guide for the tail and you can see by the length of the the lines that act as, will act as a guide for the, the legs that they're quite small and portion of the body. Two more lines for the rear legs. I've already joined up the line for the belly and we're ready now to start the, the main drawing, starting with the eyes. So I'm drawing in two, I've drawn in two circles to represent uh, a, reflected, a reflected white light which will indicate that the the eyes are very shiny and reflective. This is how we do it. We are drawing in a little white spot rather leaving the paper just the white of the paper. This tells the, the person looking at the drawing that the eyes are wet and shiny. Makes a nice contrast to the more, more matte textured coat of the West Highland White Terrier, or Westie for short. As you can see, I've drawn this dog with its head at a tilted angle, as if he's asking a question, because I think that they're such cute little dogs. That, uh, that's suitable to show some of the personality and temperament of the dog. And it looks, it looks almost like they have exaggerated second eyebrows, doesn't it? Now the nose, the nostrils. They're very tough little dogs, being having been bred to hunt rats and other underground rodents. And the all-white double coat is hard to the touch. It's not soft and fluffy. Farmers long ago in the British Isles all faced the same problem. 
infestations of rodents that pillage the grain stores and carry disease. The solution was the development of a vast array of terriers that were called earth dogs that were bred specifically to find and dispatch rats. So now we I've added in the mouth and immediately you start to see the, the expression of our Westie. A rather quizzical, quizzical, inquiring look. And now the ears. This is where the triangle for the as a guide for the ears comes in useful. Much, much easier to draw to draw a Westie when we've got our guides in. And because it's a shaggy coat, it's good to indicate the edge of the coat with a broken line. A ragged broken line. Gives a good a good indication of of the nature of the coat. And we'll use that broken line to draw in the outline of the rest of the body. Moved over to my thicker pencil. Which I find I find better when a dog has a shaggy coat. And I'm going to be using a jagged broken line makes a heavier mark, which I think works better. But you can experiment yourself to see what suits you. Now the tail, perky little tail. The breed we know today as the West Highland White Terrier came into historical focus in the 18th century when the Malcolm clan began breeding the, these little dogs on their estate. Their estate was called Pultaloch. They were bred and maintained there for more than a hundred years before their appearance at dog shows. It's probably the lineage of the, the Malcolm dogs goes back to the time of King James I of Scotland, who asked for some earth doggies out of our Gileshire. And the breed was sometimes known as the Pultaloch Terrier. Going back just to re redefine the nostrils a little bit. And time for my favourite bit. Removing the drawing guide which will leave us just with the, the drawing itself. I really like this, this part of the drawing process. We will lose, I will lose a little bit of the, the drawing in rubbing out the guide. That's just life. That's one of those things in drawing. No way around it. Don't worry about it. There'll be enough left of the drawing to make it easy to fill in the bits that we accidentally rub out. And in any case, the, the lines are rarely rubbed out. The line, the drawing line, the drawing lines are rarely rubbed out completely. You'll usually see a, an indication of where the line was, and therefore it's relatively easy just to go back and redraw it. So now I'll just go back in, and there we go. Time for the shading. You can see that little white, white reflective spot that gives a feeling of life to the eye, very important. Now shading the nose. The nose isn't as ref 
as shiny and reflective as the eye, of course. It's not nearly as wet and watery. But it, it, it does have a bit of a sheen to it, so it's good to indicate this by leaving part of the nose a little bit paler than the rest. That gives the, an indication that the, the nose is not completely matte in, in texture. Another Scottish estate that bred the, uh, the Westie was Rosneath, and the Westie was also called a Rosneath Terrier. By 1896, the dog was first shown at the Scottish dog shows. It was known as the West Highland White Terrier referring to the northwest part of Scotland where they were first bred and it was in 1906 that they first came to America and were shown at the American Kennel Club shows. And it's been a popular companion dog in America for the last hundred years. Two brands that use the Westie in their advertising are black and white Scotch whiskey and the other one is Juicy Couture. I have to confess I've never heard of Juicy Couture. Couture is a French word relating to clothes and fashion. You can see I'm using my heavier pencil to Draw in the coat, the shaggy coat, the rough, hard, shaggy coat of this tough little terrier. Little short, jagged strokes. And if you notice in the face, I've the direction of the those little strokes is very important. They they grow outwards from the nose and the eyes very important, the direction of these little marks. They indicate the direct, also the direction of the coat now that I've moved into the body of, the, of our terrier, of our Westie. Obviously as it's a West Highland white terrier, the coat is white, so we don't really need to do too much shading. If you'd like to go to my website, easyanimalstodraw.com, you can download a PDF file with the drawing guide, which will help you drawing your, your Westie. And there are lots of other dogs. There are rel relative PDF files and drawing guides and videos that you can find, plus a lot of other animals too. As usual, the far leg, the far hind leg, is quite shaded by the body and therefore quite dark at the top. That's... If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe future videos and smash the bell to get notifications of when a new video comes out. I'm just softening up some of the hair around the face to add a little variety and now softening the marks that are left on my finger. You can also, once the finger is covered in graphite, you can also use it to create an interesting and very soft shadow between the, the legs, as you can see here. Well, that's all for now, folks. Until the next time, happy drawing!